back here at the Rockstar Energy Mayhem Festival with Jay from Mushroom Head, man. Dude, what a set today. It's good to see you guys doing that, kind of infecting the new kids special, the new blood that never maybe saw Mushroom Head before. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's definitely fun. Today was a blast. The, the whole Mayhem tour has been a, fa uh, a blast. It's, uh, it's interesting for us because we're obviously a visual band. We're used to playing indoors nighttime, so to be able to play outside during the day, it's been fantastic. It's like a whole new challenge, but it's like it's something new, so it's exciting. This is get pretty goddamn hot with the mass oh, with the heat it today. Ridiculous. It's so hot today. Awesome. 111, I think, in Phoenix. So yeah, <laughs> and um, the last two days of the tour are actually in Texas, not here. That's gonna absolutely be a nightmare. So we're looking forward to it. And uh, which are from the new crowds, from the new bands that you've noticed out there that you're like, okay, I like, you know, what's going on with that particular scene genre? Because obviously you you've seen it, you've seen a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would definitely say um, right now the standouts to me would be Upon a Burning Body and a Mirror. I think that the fans of those bands, they absolutely go ape shit, and it's it's awesome, you know. I mean, watch Frankie from a Mirror make 10,000 people jump whenever he says anything. It's like, that's cool, man. <laughs> now, you got to talk about your new album, man. I mean, yeah. a long time coming. Yeah, yes. well, I mean, this is my first one back in the band um, since 2004, so that was exciting to come back and do. Initially, I thought I was just going to do a couple songs, but the, the writing and recording went so well that after a couple months, I actually said, how many songs am I on? And we started counting them, and I realized I had made a whole record with them without really intending to. And I think that that says a lot about the process. What you know, what a pleasure it was to be in the studio. How the you know creative the whole um, the whole thing was was the fact that we basically made it. Uh, well, I, I at least made a whole record with them without realizing I was doing it. You know, very natural. Yeah, completely, completely. Which has been the best party so far? Because I know they, a lot, they throw a lot of theme parties here at Mayhem, which has been the one that you've been like, ah, oh, that was cool. Um, well, there was a party, Suicide Silence and Asking Alexandria. They kind of did a co-party together, and uh, they got a dunk tank. And seeing Corpse Grinder, the singer from uh, Cannibal Corpse, in a dunk tank, I think, was something I didn't think I'd see in a million years. So, And someone actually dunked him, too. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> Did you get to dunk anybody? Um, no, I didn't dunk anybody. A couple people were in. Actually, Crystal got in the tent. You know, the, the media girl here, she got in. I don't know if she got dunked or not. But, um, yeah, just to see, you know, the singer of Cannibal Corpse in there like this, you know, like just giving you dirty. And then after a while, no one could hit it. So he starts, like, you know, he's berating the people. Whoever's throwing it, he's, like, talking mad shit to them. So it was just awesome. It's a whole, basically, uh, party experience. It's a carnival on wheels. I mean, it's yeah, amazing yeah. to be, like, on tour with so many bands for so many kids to, you know, be part of it. Kind of, like, give and receive, you know what I'm saying? It's been great, you know. I mean, the camaraderie between bands is probably my favorite part. Like you said, there's parties all the time. The, uh, the buses are all hanging out together. Everybody, you know, um, you know, have a couple beers or someone has a cookout. And it, it's just, it's become, like, a weird kind of fucked up underground family. And, uh... I think that's really cool. I haven't run into any egos or arrogance or no one's acting like a rock star. I mean, everybody is just here and happy to be here and uh, everyone's getting along. It's all a family. Hey, Jay, the 10th anniversary of Dimex passing is coming up in mm -hmm. December. So why don't we talk about the legacy of what he left behind, how he changed your life, how he, you know, basically influenced, inspired everything that we see today in metal. I think Dimebag's an amazing person. I was lucky enough, I got to meet him 1994 on the Far Beyond Driven Tour. And uh, it was in my hometown, and I, obviously I, I knew everybody in the scene in the hometown, all the clubs and stuff, so I had passes. And uh, I went to their after party, and they've thrown legendary after parties. <laughs> And I think the coolest thing that he did is he, he walked in, he rolled in with his roadie, and his roadie's pushing a big case. And it looked like, I didn't know if he was going to play guitar or what, he's got this big road case. And he takes the whole front off the case, and it's just a big stereo. And I think he put on, like, some Kiss or something like that and just started. He was like, all right, let's fucking party. Like, he brought his own, like, stereo system that's in, like, a road case, just set it up. He DJed all night long, was passing out drinks, and he was just a sweetheart. Um, and his music obviously speaks for itself. Uh, he's, he's probably the best guitar player since someone like Randy Rhodes, you know, in like the 80s. He was like, every 10 years there's that guitar player that comes uh, along that no one could really keep up with. And I think he, he, was, he was the guy for well over a decade. Oh yeah, you guys watch and remember, they're going to be on tour for the rest of the Mayhem Pass, of course, and then beyond that, you know, they're going to do a North American tour, probably going to Europe, everywhere, man. Yeah. Mushroom Hair is alive. Wherever you want to see them, just tell your promoters to bring Mushroom Hair. Absolutely. And thank you for your time, man. This has been great. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Pleasure.